We got some various Fighter Fest news, including who might be on commentary as well as their taping schedule. Plus, we have some new COVID related issues to deal with as well. What's up, everybody? Eric here from the Newswire on That's Wrestling. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this. And let's just get to it. So for the New Japan Young Lion Collision Show, we now have the announcers. It's going to be Kevin Kelly, Gino Gambino, and Chris Charlton. So that is kind of the usual lineup. So I'm guessing they all kind of jumped in some sort of bridge call and did the recording that way because I don't think they were all in the same place at the same time. But it will be all three versus Kevin Kelly, who has just been doing commentary alone for the New Japan Cup. We also have for the Fire Fest tapings, they are still planning on doing the first and the second. So the first is going to be live, and then on the second, they're going to film the show for the eighth. On yesterday's unrestricted podcast, Tony Khan was on with Aubrey Edwards and Tony Schiavone, and he said that. Chris Jericho is going to be on commentary for night one, so that should bring a different level of entertainment as we have seen Chris Jericho doing a lot of fun commentary as of late. He also did say that John Moxley is going to be ready to go for the show that is going to air on the 8th. So I'm not sure if anything has changed since that was recorded, but that was what... Tony Khan said on the podcast. So I guess we'll see. Also, Tessa Blanchard has been fired from Impact and stripped of the Impact title, though her contract was supposed to expire on the 30th anyway, so they just fired her five days ahead of time. Not sure if this is just because of all the allegations that have come out over time and they just feel the need that, well, we might as well make an example of her at this point, even though they knew about allegations against her a long while ago at this point in time. So is this just them trying to save face, even though there was only five days left on her contract? Anyways, there's obviously been some speculation of where Tessa Blanchard might go. Some people want to see her in AEW. Personally, I don't think that's going to happen, given what she has said in the past and given the selectivity of Tony Khan bringing in people to AEW, I just don't think she fits the, she may be an in-ring worker, but I don't think she fits the personality as far as out of the ring actions happen to go. We also have, there is going to be a Road to Fighter Fest episode on Monday. So yes, we are going to have some new Road to episodes. I don't know if there's going to be more than just the one on Monday, but we shall see. And also a very troubling issue, Jamie Noble. Yes, he is over with WWE, but we should cover it anyways, because it could be a bad one since Jamie Noble was stabbed back in 2016 after a driver claimed he cut him off. But Jamie Noble has come out and said that he does have COVID-19. So that could be problems with somebody who had a collapsed lung at one point from getting stabbed. So hopefully Jamie Noble does recover okay and everything is all right with him. And then lastly, ROH has canceled its plans to film some empty arena shows for their TV. So plans right now, as far as ROH are concerned, are up in the air. So that's all I have for today's Newswire. Thanks for tuning in to the Newswire on That's Wrestling. You can get this as a podcast. Just search for That's Wrestling Newswire on all your favorite podcast apps. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we will be doing New Japan Cup review of nights three, four, and five. So be sure to tune in on the YouTube channel for that. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for tuning into the Newswire on That's Wrestling. I'll see you later, guys.